Okay, so this is where I probably have to draw the line because this is an RGB LED mouse pad. Like, thanks for sending this in, Corsair, but, and it fits in, but it's a piece of cloth. Like, what? Hey guys, it's Save May Rain. You are looking awesomely beautiful today. Guys, I wanted to make this video really, really quickly to compare Corsair's brand new MM700 RGB mouse pad to the MM350 Pro. Now, why this comparison is so important to me is because the MM350 Pro classifies itself as a spill-proof mouse pad, which I don't see anywhere in the branding of the 700 to be a spill-proof mouse pad. So I'm really wanting to make this comparison to let you guys know that I've been loving this mouse pad that I've been using, which is the 350 Pro for the last few months. And if it is not spill-proof on the 700, I don't know if I'll switch over, but I really want the RGB. So we're going to have to see. I got all the links up there. We're actually going to do a full unboxing of this, which is going to be super cool, a quick one. But really quickly, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and are not subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit that sub button. And I'm gonna be doing a ton of more videos, especially with this, oh, this K100 keyboard. Oh, it's amazing. So hit that sub button and comment below what mouse pad I should be checking out. There's a lot of new mouse pads coming out. I definitely wanna check all of them out because it's so important to me. So without further ado, let's get unboxing this guy. So here it is, check it out, the MM700 RGB mouse pad. Initial thoughts off the bat, love that it was in a bigger role during the unboxing because in this guy, look how, look at the size comparison of these boxes, like that's the size of this guy. And it just, the waves just would stay for days, but this, oh, just one little wrinkle in there and I think one over here and those will be out like in hours. So super, super nice of course here to do that. Uh, obviously it's because this is a different kind of material that needed probably, uh, it couldn't be wrapped as tight. Off the bat, look at this. The two logos, they did kind of rebrand to this little yellow uh, accent symbol, as you can see in the K100. I do like it. I do think this could be a little more minimal and this could be a little more minimal as well. I don't think it needs to say Corsair. Maybe they could do this even in yellow, but I, I don't know, I, I do dig it. I think it is more towards the approach of the brand that I want Corsair to be and the brand of their product. So I, I do not complain about this at all. So. Excellent little little uh, engraving there, feels great. I do feel that this edge might be a little annoying. I, I don't know yet, I have, I have no idea. Obviously it feels different than this uh, edge here, so I wanna see what this will feel like. But there is these kind of rings, they're, they're using the stitching to actually, and I don't think I can actually focus on that. Yeah, they're using the stitching to actually wrap the RGB node around the entire uh, mouse pad. And I wanna come up here, great that it was type C. Uh, there's a little button in the back that can turn on and off. And of course the USB for the wireless mousing, mouse charging, which sadly dark, the, the dark pro is still black. Come on, if, if, okay, here's the, here's the thing. Corsair, you guys make a white mouse pad, I'm giving this away. That's all I'm saying. I'm keeping the packaging. If they drop a white mouse pad, this is going straight to you guys and I will be doing a full review of both and giving this one guy away. But I'm going to do the test, the test guys, which actually let's do a mouse comparison first. This is pretty important. So I'm feeling on this guy, I'm actually like closing my eyes so I don't really feel, okay, okay, oh. They feel very, very, very similar. Oh my gosh, this is this is actually getting me excited because while I was unboxing, I also pulled out, guys, you already know, the syringe. I'm going to do the water test. This is gonna be the first live test to see if the spill-proof, check this out, premium spill-proof right there, cloth, premium spill-proof cloth. Do you see premium spill-proof cloth there? I didn't think so. Please, Corsair. Please, please, here we go. Just to show you guys what it looks like on the you know mouse that I've been mouse pad that I've been using for a few months. This is extremely nice to have. Even though I don't spill a lot of things on my mouse pad, the texture is what I love. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. <gasps> guys, the MM700 RGB 
is spill proof. I have rest my case uh, to show you guys what spill proof isn't like. This is the uh, MM200. The, I've had this for several years. So watch this and let me focus on that really quickly for you guys. Sorry, but that is not spill proof. Look at that. Look at this. This is what I used to deal with. It was awful. So uh, with that being said, guys, this is a $40 mouse pad and this is a $60 mouse pad. So is it worth the $20? As of now, I think so. If you want RGB, definitely, because they're using their spill proof material from the MM350 Pro onto the MM700, which makes this mouse pad extremely valuable to me and why I will be keeping it just until they make a white one. Come on, Corsair. Come on, make 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 a white one. But that is insane. Like it's just it's just nuts. It's nuts. And then it comes right off. It dries. Super nice to have spill proof cloth. So let's check out the RGB. So got the lights off and oh my gosh, just first impressions. Whoa, I never thought that I would want an RGB mouse pad until now. This is like, I, now I'm on an island and this nice cast of light is the ocean. So I feel very safe now working and, and gaming on my island. I'm gonna go through IQ and show you guys kind of how to set it up and what's, uh, what your kind of expectation should be. Um, already off the bat, this is fantastic. It, the, the lighting in the corner is a little brighter because that's I think where the LEDs are hitting. But let's go through IQ. So there's three node settings. So settings that you can change. This is the logo. So the logos, you're able to change on the logo. So if I tap that, the logo is going on and off. Very cool. Let me show you the right zone. So if I click on the right zone, actually right zone is obviously on this side. So that whole right zone, it is actually this whole L that's down here. So it's this side casting up and this side casting down and the left is that top end casting down and casting over. So let me just show you that again, clicking on the left. So it's kind of hard to see, cause I'm, try I'm trying to, you, you can see it on the box going off and on. I'm gonna show you guys the different lighting settings that I set up. So if I do a profile change, this is my first person shooter profile setup and check that out. Yeah, I got I obviously got it uh, linked to the computer too. But check that out, what <laughs> this? is pretty rad and it is still kind of during the day. So there's obviously light in here, but if, if we're pitch black and there's, you know, we're, we're gaming, this is super cool. Super, super innovative. I, whoever invented this, yeah, thumbs up. And, uh, by the way, bottom of the 700 is the exact same as the bottom of the 350. Thought I would add that in there, very important. So let's go to another setting. This is uh, for Fortnite actually, cause I have, my builds set up, my building set up to different keys. So when this, and I know it's kind of hard to see because of how bright this is, but in real life, it looks very clean. This is how I build in Fortnite. So I'm using this nice kind of pinkish with the teals and blues. Uh, you can see in the computer, it kind of matches. So when I'm, when I'm Fortnite, this is a very branded color of their brand. So really cool there, but you can see it's on this wave. So it's, it's coming in and out of colors. And I think it's just cycling between the teal and the purple. Really cool. Like, not not distracting at all because once you start gaming it's like you know kind of there but just just fun actually a lot of these settings are just kind of fun so let's go to the another one this is full rainbow so check out rainbow blast and i'll probably have to make uh, some more footage when it is pitch black so you guys can actually see what it really but it, you guys should get the full experience right now look at that just cycling through uh this little note up here are this you know the, the little little pack here. Oh, there's a USB on that side as well. <gasps> I didn't even mention that guys. There's a USB on that side. So there's two USBs um, for whatever you want to do with. I mean, I, you could probably throw in it. I don't think it's data transfer, but it's obviously for charging. So you'll be able to do some fun charging stuff, but type C, uh, look at that logo showing through. Very, very cool. Uh, the cable size, by the way, is about as long as the mouse cable and the same thickness and the same type. They're nice braided cable. So very, very exciting stuff. And then it goes back to dark. So at the end of the day, um, it will all depend on my usage. So please keep up in the comments because I will be updating those comments to see how this will feel over time because it does feel different than that the 350 Pro that I'm used to. So we are going to see. So please stay in touch with me in the comments. Would love to also hear you guys what 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 mouse pads are coming out, what you got, want me to try next, what you want me to compare. 
This would all be great to, to kind of do in the future. Always love finding new ideas for the channel. And obviously you can go to Corsair and pick up their mouse pad. Also, I have the links on Amazon below too. They're currently, these are $60 on Amazon and also uh, in Corsair as well. And it is $40 for that Pro if you wanted to do the Pro as well too. So let me just go back to that setting of rainbow to be a little ridiculous. Where's that? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching as always uh, make sure to hit that like button um yeah subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram for some more awesomeness and as always stay awesomely beautiful and hope i'll see you once again